Alexandra, the book that uh, brought you here to the Library of Congress for the Star Wars event was The Princess of the Scoundrel and the Farm Boys, a novelization for younger readers mm -hmm. based on A New Hope. Yep. And um, how, what was your idea about trying to get a novelization of a movie that people have seen God knows how many times? Well, that was one of the reasons I was so nervous to write this book, how to reinvent it so it felt fresh, both to kids and adults who'd be reading it with the kids. So I went back to what I love most about the films, which were the characters themselves. So I pitched it to my editor as being sort of like the Star Wars Breakfast Club, where it's playing with the idea of labels that people give to each other and give to themselves, and it shows how Han, Luke, and Leia rise above those specific labels. And I also got to write a bunch of off-camera scenes that you don't get to see and invent some, pull some from the old radio drama. It's really, really fun. Oh, that, that is great. Um, you've also written The uh, Darkest Minds and Never Fade. And Darkest Minds, I understand, has been optioned for film? It has been. It was optioned by the production company 21 Laps for, I think, 20th Century Fox. So that is sort of like... Constantly on the back burner. I'm hoping something starts happening, but the script for it was written by Chad Hodge, who just recently did the adaptation of Wayward Pines for Fox TV, and it's great. It's going to be awesome. I really hope something happens for it, but it's just, I think it's a timely story to tell. It's about kids who are, you know, ostracized because they're different and they have these abilities, and every, there's so much fear and uncertainty happening in the American landscape. So I think it could be a really cool film. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Yeah, sounds nice. Um, and so what's new for you? What's coming out soon? The new book that I'm really excited about is called Passenger. It's a time travel romance adventure. I pitched it to my editor as being a treasure hunt through time kind of thing. So I get to hit a lot of the different time periods that I was really interested in as a history major and pulling in a lot of diversity and a lot of different time periods and locations. I'm trying to hit every single continent at one point during these two books, but it's really fun. It's just filled to the brim with like, everything I love as a reader. So I'm hoping readers also really enjoy it. Great. It sounds great. And thanks for taking time to uh, sit down with us. Of course. Thank you so much for having me.